Okay, welcome back to episode three of Down the Rabbit Hole. And for this episode, we're going to take a look at some of the things that you may have run into regarding levels and try to work out some of the issues that might have popped up in case you weren't able to figure them out. So mainly we've been working with our in on the left side and out on the right side and turning the monitor on and off in the bottom right corner, as you just heard. Um, so I've tried to come up with a list of different problems that may have popped up and how to fix them. Obviously, if you want to hear what's going on, you're going to have to turn on your monitor to hear what's happening as you do it. As you do right now, you can hear the microphones picking up my voice and you're hearing through the monitor. Let's turn that back off for a second. Now, more than likely, you may have had to take a minute figuring out the inside. And for these videos, we've had it set somewhere in the middle, which should be pretty good. But just to hit either end, one issue you may have run into is the input being way too high. So we'll turn this way up, and you can see the meter jump all the way up with my voice hitting it orange if not red. And so we'll turn the monitor on and play a little clarinet to see what happens when this ha with, with this. probably could hear it was r more distorted than the other examples that we've given because when you have it up that high and it's hitting the orange or the red then it's overloading the microphone and that's when you will get distortion. Now on the other end of the spectrum if we turn it way down here almost to the bottom so you just see a little bit of green. Now this is going to be too low. So let's try to give an example of that. Alright, so you could hear a little bit of the affected sound, but not a lot. And so you've probably figured out that you gotta have it somewhere in the middle. The microphone on this is pretty forgiving, so it's not too big of a deal getting it at a good medium volume so you can hear what's going on, but you're not overloading it like this. So now that's the, those are the simple fixes, but what if something else is happening? Another solution may be in your input settings. And you can access these by touching the uh, jack right next to in on the left side. And there you go, your input settings. So one thing that may be happening is you may have the input level set to automatic, which you don't want. We have had that off the entire time, and it has worked just fine. So that's going to, as it says, automatically adjust the sound. Which, and then another thing that you may want to check is your noise gate at the very bottom. And if that is on, we'll just turn that off and we'll, we'll get into adjusting that at a little bit later date. And then don't worry about the two middle things. Inner app audio is if you're using a second app in addition, which we're not. No need to complicate things. And monitor is just another way you can turn the monitor on like we were in the bottom right. So you see a little click on. And you can see front in here, and you can see in the bottom right that it's doing the exact same thing. Okay. So the last thing to check if you're having trouble with the sound is 
your track settings. And you can find these by touching the button in the top left that is three vertical lines with little squares in it. We'll hit that a couple times so you can see which one it is. It's in these four buttons in the top left, the innermost one. And that'll give you this menu to pop, pop, popping up that has a lot of stuff going on. And so you pro if you're having trouble, you wanna make sure this looks just like this menu does on the video, where your track volume is up. You don't wanna have it down here. Make sure it's up here. And you can adjust that a little bit depending on how loud it is to you. Um, then you also wanna make sure you don't have mute selected, make sure that's unchecked. And we're not dealing with multiple tracks right now, so no need to worry about the headphone button, which is the solo button. So we can close that back up. And hopefully, if you've had trouble with any of these things, this helped clear that up. Um, and if not, then excellent job for you. And so if you're ready, go on to the next video and where we will talk about changing the settings and saving presets of your own in here. So we'll see you there.